Do you believe in cosmic coincidences? Some people seek out these sort of patterns in reality to try to make sense of life, using spirituality or religion to cope with answers that we may never have the answer to. In fact, some people believe the placement of the stars the day you are born affects your fate. Detroit, Michigan producer Jay Dilla and Tokyo, Japan music producer Nujabas were both born February 7th, 1974, and both were taken from this world too soon, but they both left behind a very particular style of hip-hop beat that has inspired many young producers. In this video tutorial, I will show you a simple way to recreate a Jay Dilla Nujabas style beat using quick sampling in FL Studio. First, I would recommend listening to their back catalog, as each producer has made a lot of beats in their lifetime. I'm going to try to recreate a track that shares the same vibe as Jay Dilla's life and Ujaba's feather. Now after listening to both producers, I found they shared a common aesthetic. That aesthetic being introspective soft beats featuring soft jazz piano and retro funk drums juxtaposing modern vibes with old school flavor. First we're going to need drums that sound like boom bap. So I found this cool site called http dot dot backslash backslash uh, rhythmlab dot com slash breakbeats, where you can find vintage drum samples performed by real drummers from the 70s. Sampling drums is always fun because it makes the beat come to life as it was performed by someone who was actually alive, not some soulless artificial robot that's just a glorified metronome. The slight offbeat hits and human dynamics give off that vintage charm most drum machines lack. If you want some soul in your beats, you best be looking for some something played by a human, and from the 70s, because everyone in the 70s had loads of soul back then. Now, I've been listening to this underground indie unknown mysterious music producer by the name of Joji, who shares a similar vibe, and I noticed he sh sampled that uh, Charlie Brown Christmas piano song, so I googled it to see who composed it, and it was written by jazz pianist Vince Guillardi. Look at that mustache and glasses combo he's rocking. It's pretty relatable, as I resonate with the glasses mustache archetype. If you're curious about archetypes, just google Carl Jung. I decided to unearth Vinny's old jazz piano piece Autumn Leaves and sample it with our beat. Now that we got our jazz piano beat, we gotta mix them together and make a J. Dilla Nujaba style beat. Hello everyone, welcome to my first ever FL Studio Let's Play. Uh, I'm your host, Frank Javsi, and I'm gonna teach you how I make a J. Dilla Nujaba style sounding beat. So first what we're gonna wanna do is get our, our drum loop and we're gonna put it in our playlist right here. And this drum loop is infamous for sounding a lot like this. Yeah, uh-huh, what, what, yeah. So yeah, we first we gotta put our drum loop into the, the thing by zooming in really close. And you can see the first hit right here. So what I normally do is I go to this magnet, select none, and then use the slip tool to slip it over a little bit like that till you have your first drum hit. And now we just need to find for for the loop. So play, and you'll hear it. Boom, boom, pa, boom, 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 pa, boom, boom. So the first loop is right here because that's where the the kick gets repeated again. So sh press shift and uh, slice off that part right there. So now we should have uh, a loop. Now check it because you need to cut it off right there. And now to check it, you press Control A in the playlist and then pl press play. And if it loops perfectly, you have a good loop. Yeah, uh-huh, what? Yeah, it loops perfectly. Uh, I was gonna freestyle, but I don't know how to do it, right? Okay, so you click, you double click the sample and this little box comes up. And then on the time, you right click, and then instead of auto detect, you click none. And what that does is when you adjust the tempo, it slips the audio just right. So slip it so that it enters four bars and it should be yeah nine, 95 beats per minute which is a good year the sony playstation one came out that year and some of you weren't even alive then that's trippy to think about but then again like a lot of you have been complaining you're like oh i was born in 1976 and i was like okay i'm sorry okay so zoom in and then just cut off the little tip part right here you don't need it so it's 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 a perfect little bar loop and what you're going to want to do to test it is uh select the magnet so like bar go to the next bar and if they line up perfectly then you got yourself your drum loop uh-huh yeah what up yeah perfectly in sync it was all a dream uh life is a dream reality okay so next what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to put in our piano part so here's my autumn leaves look at that picture of me that's so trippy it's like some weird meta thing going on Okay, so add your, your sample, and we're going to look for the part that gives me musical frisson. 
Musical frisson, of course, is uh, music orgasms. So usually I, I try to follow my music orgasms, and when I have a music orgasm, that's when I know I need to sample something. And I have a musical orgasm somewhere around here. No, not right there, right here. Yeah, it's right there. So now we just gotta find the first loop. It's the part that goes dun 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 beam 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 beam. See? Yeah, that's the first note. See, a lot of people when they say sampling, like they're always like, listen to the samples, but like because we have these audio workshops now, you can literally zoom in and see it. So that's where I see the first hit. Remember, use your eyes and ears, people. What did I do? Oh yeah. Now let's swoop that all the way over there. And now let's listen to the sample how it sounds. Okay, then it changes right here. So if if you have like a good ear for musical patterns, you can like see like the four four kind of. And I know there's a pattern right here. So like this is like a four uh four bar maybe. Actually, I think it's eight bars. Well, anyways. Listen and see if it loops. Press Control A and you can see if it loops. If it doesn't loop, we have to adjust it minorly. See, it loops perfectly. See, told you guys. Some of you didn't believe me, I know that, but I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for like 30 years. Okay, so now on the time, select uh, none, and then we're gonna s Wait, I know I messed up somewhere. Yes, okay. So on your, s on your s sample loop, whatever, Instead of uh, uh, clicking none, now that we have it in sync with the with the playlist, select auto detect and select 95, which is a good year, cause that's when the play stay. Okay, now, it, when we move our tempo, it stays put. You see, it's synced to our project. So now we just have to slide this down a little bit until our piano sample is is synced. So it is in sync somewhere right here, or right here. All right here, all right here. Oh, oh no, which one do I choose? I'm gonna choose the less one, and then I'm gonna slide it over a little bit. There, oh fuck, I slide the top one too. Okay, press Control Z. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes, as long as you can press Control Z. Quote me on that. All right, so now we have it in sync with our beat, but it doesn't. It's probably gonna sound nasty because it's like super slow. So what I'm gonna do is sync it to our project. So auto detect uh, project. And now slide it up back to 95 beats per minute where the drums come in. And now we have something that should sound like this. <laughs> Take two. And now we should have something that sounds like this. Uh huh. Yeah. What? Ooh. New jab is J Dilla sounding beat. Feet. That's that's stupid. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh huh. What? Gotta say yeah on a record just like this It makes the music sound way more authentic Gotta rap about real shit like poverty Government corruptions as reflections of society Honestly, honesty is the best policy When you're rhyming words on a beat with a melody Got that jazz minor chord in my soul Wanna vibe, wanna roll with the whole wide world, yeah And now you have a beat that sounds like that So, uh... In this next part of the video, I'm going to show you the full beat I made, like, it's like a full version. And if you're feeling it, go ahead, rap on it, sing on it, send me it. You can download it on my SoundCloud. The link should be in the description. Please read the description. No one ever reads the description. I hide things in the description for you guys, and no one ever mentions it. Like, I read descriptions in all my YouTube videos, but that's just me complaining right now. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I also added some, like, rain noises to the final version. Because rain gives off, like, this white noise effect, and it makes it sound more vinyl. All you gotta do is, like, push the EQs in the mids to make it sound, like, more, like, And it'll sound like it's coming out of a record player.
good from my head down to my toes I wanna thank you for watching my stuff Because if I didn't do it, I don't know what I'd do I'd probably have a regular job But I'd probably hate myself more than I do now And you guys are helping me deal with shit that I don't wanna figure out But I wanna thank you for watching my videos It makes me feel, feel, feel really good from my head down to my toes Thank you Oh, I wanna thank you Oh Also shout out to Matt Watson for getting me this for my birthday It was a, that's what it was